Hi and welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share with you how to make tuna stuffed zucchini boats. Very easy to make, full of flavor and with plenty of vegetables. So let's get started by looking at those zucchinis. We are halving them and afterwards scooping out the flesh using just a tablespoon. That's very, very convenient. Want to make sure not to go to the bottom of the flesh. You don't want any holes in them, but uh, of course we do want to be able to put quite a lot of filling into them. So we're salting each of these uh, zucchini boats so that we can have some of the water uh, extracted from them. We're leaving them to the side while just chopping up some of that zucchini meat. And in a pan, in some neutral oil, we're just going to fry up uh, an onion, a big onion that is cut into smaller pieces. We want the onion to become nice and translucent and to let go of some of that water that is in it. And after a few minutes, we can add in a red bell pepper, also cut up in smaller pieces. We have to remember we're making a stuffing. We don't want it to be too... Uh, raw, uh, we want it to be quite uh, fine in texture, so cutting up the vegetables small is good. We also add in the flesh of the zucchini, which contains a lot of water, so the idea is for it to actually just stay on the pan for some minutes to, to let go of some of that water. You can see it here on the pan, that the water is, is boiling away, that is good. And once you're there, you can add in a uh, clove of garlic. It's going to give a lot of flavor to this stuffing and that's really what we're looking for. So we get that garlic integrated well with the other ingredients. And then we're going in with the tuna fish. This is a white tuna fish. Um, it would be an idea to actually just chop it up with a fork in a bowl to the side instead of doing it on the pan. That's what we learned by making it dish uh, but it's, it works very well you just want to to really distribute the tuna all over and the tuna is already cooked so there's no need for this to actually cook for that much longer we just want to season it we add a coriander or cilantro which is fresh and chopped up finely it's going to give this nice asian twist to our filling and the same goes for the soy sauce. We do add a couple of tablespoons of that. That's really gonna give that saltiness to the filling. And we also uh, pepper, that's important to get that little bit of, of spice. And actually now we're ready to, to combine the stuffing with cheeses. So in a big bowl, we're just adding the, the stuffing, which is still hot. And then we're going in with cheese. So we use a French Comté, a very beautiful, very flavorful cheese. It's not too strong, but it has a lot of character. And since the stuffing is hot, it'll melt into the stuffing. We also add Parmesan cheese, which is going to give this very nice umami flavor and a lot of saltiness as well. It's a beautiful cheese to combine with the, the tuna fish. And it's all about just mixing in the cheeses very well. So the shells of the zucchinis, they have now let go of a lot of water. So it's all about just removing the excess water, placing the shells or the skins in a baking dish, and then adding in plenty of stuffing per zucchini skin. And the more generous you are, the better, the more filling each shell will be. And that's going to be very, very nice. At the end, just top each shell with some more of that Conte cheese and the Parmesan cheese and be generous again. You can, of course, substitute the cheeses for other types if you want cheddar or mozzarella or even other types. That's completely fine. We just want to have a beautiful topping of golden brown cheese once the dish is done. And it is done after 35 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, that's uh, 300 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. What you see here is a beautiful result with a cheese that is golden brown. The zucchini shells have cooked. They were raw when we put them in, but they have cooked nicely. They're soft without being soggy at all. They still have character and they still have a little bit of strength in them, which is really nice. Serve up with a sprinkle of fresh cilantro 
maybe with some rice on the side or a good piece of uh, bread, that's also an idea. And then it's all about digging in. So it's definitely possible to see here how the zucchini skins they have cooked, but they still do have a bite to them. So it's not just a soggy, soft texture you get in your mouth, which I think is very nice. And the filling is very, very nice. It has the flavors of the tuna fish, of the cilantro. It's uh, nicely uh, seasoned with also the a red bell pepper which gives a lot of good taste and then we have the garlic and onion so you get so much in this dish when it comes to vegetables it comes to proteins from the fish and it's so good thanks a lot for having watched mtb cooking here on youtube please give this video a like if you did like it subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already share the word of mtb cooking out there on social media with all your other comfort food friends and we'll see you later in yet another video bye